Welcome back to One Hot Bite. Melissa here, where healthy doesn't have to be boring, and I'm gonna show you how today. But we also have something very exciting today. I have received these amazing ramekins from this company, Swiss, and they are beautiful. I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull one out really quick, and they come in all these different colors. I have blue, I have turquoise, Anyhow, they're so awesome. I'll give you a closer look at those as we get going here. Uh, but I want to say, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. And now you have all this leftover turkey. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna make individual turkey pot pies with these beautiful ramekins that I got. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about this company and I'll show you a little closer look at these products and we'll go through it super fast so we can get cooking and make this amazing and healthy turkey pot pies. I also want to say a quick thank you so much for all of you being here each week. Each Monday we're always making something awesome and something as healthy as we possibly can and also enjoying the flavors of life. So thank you so much for being here. Smash that like button really quick. It helps with the algorithms and helps me make more awesome videos for you. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe down below. But let's go ahead and get cooking. Here is a closer look at the six ounce ramekins that I got from Suisse. I will link down below where you can get these. They're on Amazon, but you can get all different colors and I picked this beautiful color pack. So let's get on to cooking. Here is a little bit of oil we're gonna put in a saucepan over medium high heat. We're gonna start adding onion. So I mixed up both onions. I did a little yellow onion, a little red onion. You can do all yellow, you can do all red, whatever you want. That's the awesome thing about cooking is you can be versatile and this is just what I had. So we're gonna saute about two cups of onions. While that is sauteing for a minute, I'm in a separate bowl, I'm gonna have three tablespoons of flour and we're gonna add some chicken broth, chicken stock, or if you have stock left over from Thanksgiving, that will work as well. We're gonna mix this together just to make our thickening agent for our sauce. Whip this together really nice so all of that flour is incorporated and I have artichoke hearts here. Not the marinated kind that are in the oil. These are coming out of the can, they were in water. We're gonna save a lot of calories this way and a lot of fat. We're just gonna rough chop our artichoke hearts. So this is where the Mediterranean flavors are coming in. We are making this very Mediterranean. The only piece I'm gonna leave out and we'll talk about in just a minute, um, I'll show you that. We're gonna add some garlic to this as well. Just let this heat up, get fragrant. Make sure you don't burn that garlic and let's add in that chicken broth mixture that we made. So we're just gonna cook this for a couple minutes. It's gonna thicken really quickly. As soon as we get this all mixed in, it's gonna bubble and you can see how it's thickened. Beautiful. Okay, let's add our other ingredients to this. So the first thing I'm gonna put in here are those artichoke hearts that we rough chopped. Get all of those in here. The other thing we're gonna add is a can of diced tomatoes. Do not drain these, we're gonna want that extra liquid. Go ahead and add that. I'm gonna mix this together really quick before we bring in some of our other ingredients. The one thing that I didn't omit from this that you can add are Kalamata olives or any olives, green olives, anything like that. I left them out. Here is our turkey leftover from Thanksgiving or you could use a rotisserie chicken even if you wanna make this a chicken pot pie. The next thing we're gonna add that's really gonna bring those flavors through are pepperoncinis. This kind of gives it a little sass, a little spice, and it, it really kind of brings a bunch of flavor to this. The other thing, we're gonna add a little bit of oregano. We're gonna mix all this together, and really we're just trying to bring this to heat. We're not trying to cook this anymore. It's already thickened. We have everything together. I'm gonna add some fresh, cracked black pepper to this as well. And as soon as I get this mixed together, I'm gonna to pull it from the heat. I'm gonna bring out those beautiful ramekins that I have. Again, these are six ounces. This is perfect for this dish. I'm gonna lay these out and we're gonna slowly, well actually quickly, we're gonna add all of our filling inside of here. So I'm just gonna make sure they're all even. As soon as they're all even and I have everything in there, I'm just gonna pat these down so they're smooth. You don't really have to do this. I guess this is a little OCD of me, but we're gonna pat these down, make them nice and smooth on top because now we're gonna add our crust on top. <clears throat> so again, we're saving calories by having just our crust on top and not crust all the way through. 
The ramekins work great because they hold everything in place, but yet I don't need all the dough around it. I know it's yummy, but again, we're trying to save the calories and fat on this. So our dough is just gonna go on top. So I have this classic pizza dough that I just bought at the grocery store. I did leave this out of the fridge for about 30 minutes just so it is nice and cool and easy to work with. Now I have a little jar, a little bowl, that's a smidge bigger than the ramekins. And that's what I want to cut our tops into. So this is our top crust. I'm going to cut six of these out and we're going to sculpt it over the top of our cute little ramekins. If you need to add flour, you're more than welcome to do so on this. It really wasn't that sticky for me to work with this dough. And again, this is like super quick. You saw how I have lots of things in cans, uh, easy bake pizza dough, makes this really super quick and easy put together. So we're gonna take one of these little circles, I'm gonna lay it over the top, and you can pinch or crimp your edges any way you want. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to, and it'll create this top crust like a top hat that will sit on top as well but I kind of like the idea of pinching it keeping all that heat inside and as soon as we have all six of these done we have we're gonna cut slits in the top of this so we have our oven preheated at 425 degrees they're gonna cook for 18 to 22 minutes mine came together really quickly I did throw foil over the top so that the tops didn't brown a whole bunch we're gonna do a quick little egg wash on top of these before we slip them in the oven. And I'm also gonna to top it with a little bit, a little sprinkle of oregano, just to bring those flavors all the way through. So this is gonna help make them get that golden brown top. But again, if you don't feel like they're heated all the way through, throw a piece of foil over the top of that so that they don't brown anymore. This is what they look like before they go in. The slits are to release some of that steam. I'm going to transfer these to a baking sheet because they do boil over a tiny bit, but look how beautiful. Look at that crunch. Oh, and these are gorgeous. I'm going to pull a crust off the top. It's cooked all the way through. I'm going to show you some of the filling. Nice and hot and steamy. Very Mediterranean. Very delicious. 326 calories. I know for a fact this is one hot bite. So you have your awesome crust that sits on top. It's so yummy. Mm. I mean, it's just like pizza for real. It's so yummy. And then we have our insides. I'm not gonna pick this up because it's super hot, but I showed you kind of what a bite looks like. We have all those Mediterranean flavors coming through. It's still steaming. I'm really afraid I'm gonna burn myself. Mm. Mm. So homey. So yummy, almost like Thanksgiving again, but with an awesome twist of the Mediterranean flavors. So I love you guys. I'll see you next week. We're gonna make something amazing. I'll see you next week.